dahil uh, mapalad yung mother, hindi man uh, kasing init yung uh, paglilingkod niya sa paglilingkod natin ngayon. But we have now the clear understanding no? na yung mother ay ginamit ng Panginoon upang uh, mailuwal may panganak muli ang Diyos at maraming natitisod but uh, it's a clear understanding hindi naman yung the way you deliver it the way you presented it kasi matitisod talaga ang tao but kapatid ay yung clear understanding na binigay ng uh, So, uh, tomorrow, nang siguro hapon, ay sabi ni Brother Edgar ay magkakaroon tayo ng uh, parang uh, service uh, just to uh, give uh, comfort to the family na matay. <laughs> But to uh, the family, kasi siyempre yun ang... Uh, ano, pinakamabigat na bahagi rin because human, you know, may emotion tayo. Si Christ nga, hindi ordinaryong iyak yung kanyang ginawa. Uh, humagulhul siya. Di ba? But uh, yan ay part uh, niya bilang uh, human because he was uh, uh, raised, siya yung unang-una na na race up ng ganyang klaseng race, Godman race, ganun din tayo. No? Uh, bukas, kung sino yung may mga uh, time, hapon, siguro, mga six, seven, mga ganun, no? So just we, we can have a, a, a service doon sa, sa galang, no? Malapit lang. So, bukas ng uh, So salamat sa preparation ng Panginoon sa atin no dahil sa kapahayagan na ipinagkaloob niya uh, uh, of course we have to uh, include also our prayer yung pamangkin nila brother June si princess anak ni nasa hospital right now din at uh, operahan ano opera so it's getting worse yung condition natin dito sa mundo <laughs> ang uh, umuwi at uh, grabe rin of course we visited uh, no yung sa diabetes niya, yung mata niya, ay itong, itong isa ay may ito yata, yung totally hindi na maka-recover. At yung isa ay parang uh, contaminated na rin. Parang ano na, nahahawaan na. So, yun ang mga discussions doon about yung uh, mission din sa Malaysia. At uh, originally, ay uh, but sa akin yung pastor doon, kahit na ikaw lang pastor kung walang sasama. So, sabi ko kung wala na talagang iba, then uh, kasi sayang yung uh, mga gawain doon. And then sabi ni Pastor Archie, Pastor Henry, yung siya lang mag-isa, may exhaust siya. Kasi, kasi yun ang nangyari sa akin doon. Uh, so, Pastor Mar ay uh, nag-ano din na uh, isama. So, that will be next month siguro. God willing, siguro we will also start the, uh, the mission work doon sa bo uh, boundary or uh, yung... Uh, ng uh, Malaysia and uh, Indonesia. 
And uh, sabi ni Pastor Bebot sa akin, yan yung ibibigay ko na area mo. <laughs> so, uh, as the Lord leads. So, salamat sa Panginoon sa mga development. Sila Pastor Jun at Pastor Yap ay nagkahiwalay ngayon doon. Pastor Yap, I believe, ay nasa Miri. Ang Sarawak and Pastor Jun ay nasa Bintulo. Grabe ngayon ang uh, movement ng Panginoon sa Malaysia. Grabe. O, dun sa isang, uh, ano dun, isa lang na believer nag-start that was... Uh, tapos ngayon, yung... Yung church doon na ang pastor nila ay Malaysians, ay mga Pilipino, nung marinig nila itong message na ito, gusto na nila dito. But Pastor Bebot, medyo parang, medyo nag-iisip din siya, napipressure siya. Naman, eh, paano yung, yung iba doon na mga Pilipino ay yung mga papers ba nila? <laughs> Uh, yung mga documents nila ay uh, uh, ano, magkaroon ng harder uh, scrutiny. No? So, I believe the Lord will make a way. Kasi ang uh, dito sa Pilipinas, ano na eh, parang nagpe-paid na yung revival dito sa atin. Okay. Wala, kahit na anong presentation mo dito sa message nito ito, babatikusin eh. Sa Facebook, paano batikusin yung, yung understanding? Kaya siguro ay uh, yung revival dito, pabalik na talaga siya sa East. Pagbalik niya sa East, siyempre Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, India, Pakistan. Siguro mahirapan tayo sa Afghanistan. <laughs> Yari tayo sa Taliban. But uh, nothing is impossible with God when it comes to the elect. Uh, walang imposible. Talagang gagawa ang Panginoon ng mga sirkumstansya uh, yung mga elect. Di ba mga kabadid? So tayo ay magpapatuloy series about yung God uh, or uh, Christ in this present day. Because the Bible said, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. At ang sabi ni Brother Banham, kung hindi mo nakita ang Christ sa panahon na ito, at ang nakita mo lang ay yung yesterday, you are still under the delusion of Satan. At uh, yun ang napakabigat na reality being under the delusion of Satan. Uh, nahihirapan silang i-accept yung expression of God in this day. Pero yung elect, mga kapatid, tanggap niya at yun ang nagbibigay sa kanya ng kakaibang sigla. Kasi walang ibang magbigay ng revival ngayon pahayagan kung uh, nasaan inexpress ng Diyos ang kanyang sarili. So babalikan natin yung scripture mga patid. And I heard sa Revelations 5, 16 o sa, sa 11, Hanggang 14. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. Of them was 10,000 times 10,000 of thousands. The voice worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, honor and glory and power be unto him that seated upon the throne, 
be unto him that seated upon the throne. In this particular scene, may nakaupo na eh. Revelation chapter 4, nakita na ni John, yun nakaupo. Meron, meron. But uh, meron siyang nakikita. Because the Bible said, ay luluklok din. Uupo din doon sa throne. Di ba? And he said, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him, be unto him that seated upon the throne, and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Said Amen, and the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. I beheld and lo, sa Revelation 7, 9 to, to 12, Lo, a great multitude which no man could number, kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, loud voice saying, Salvation to our God, which seated upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Now, I hindi natin inaagawan ang Diyos. Never. But, the prophet said, with all that was and that is in Him. ba? So, gusto kong i-clarify. Now, it's not, we are not referring to an individual. We are referring to the complete bright body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kasama sila lahat doon, Alpha and Omega. And that's the reason why the prophet said, the Bible, he is Alpha and Omega. And when Brother Banham have the clear understanding, mga kapatid, sinabi niya, she is Alpha and Omega because nakita ng prophet na ang uh, New Testament is not expressing the masculine, but the New Testament is the expression of the feminine. Uh, sa, the masterpiece, makita natin, sabi ng prophet, Old Testament is the masculine. The New Testament is the feminine. Kikita natin, malinaw sa atin, and that makes the complete God. Atin yung blessing. Amen. Nasa atin ba yung blessing? Ang tanong. Kasi kung walang blessing dumating sa atin, kawawa naman tayo. Dumating ba yung honor? Amen, sabi ng prophet, dumating sa atin yung honor because tayo ay kanyang binihisan ng, uh, ng ano, ng kanyang sarili. Wow. Amen. Ito nang nakakatisod, yung glory. What about the glory? Amen. Mabigat, mga kabadid. But we will find out Nasaan ba yung glory? Amen. Now, this glory, mga kapatid, to, to other people, lalong-lalo na sa walang understanding, parang napakalayo yung glory, but we will find out, mga kapatid, take of God, amen, alam nila kung nasaan yung glory na ito. Because why, sa Old Testament, hindi basta-basta kahit naman masilayan. Now, magkaiba yung Pillar of fire, pillar of clouds, magkaiba yun. That's that, of course, we believe. Okay. Si Moses ay nagkaroon ng uh, uh, desire sa kanyang puso na makita yung kalwalhatian mismo ng kanyang larawan. 
Amen. So, in other words, si Moses, mga kabadid, beside of that pillar of fire, pillar of clouds, burning bush, alam ni Moses, meron pang mas dakila na kaluwalhatian ng ating Panginoon. And then, sabi niya kay Lord, pwede ba Panginoon makita kita? Akin yun. Ang sabi ng ating Panginoon at that time, hindi pwedeng makita ng tao ang Diyos sapagkat siya ay mamamatay. Di ba? Ganun pa man, pagbibigyan kita. So lang saglit lang ha. Para ma masatisfy lang yung desire ng heart mo, pagbibigyan kita, pero saglit lang. Kasi delikado kasi ang panahon na yon pag nakita mo ang kaluwalhatiang ng Diyos, mamamatay ka eh. Ngayon, pag hindi mo naman nakita ang kaluwalhatiang ng Diyos sa panahon na ito, patay ka din. Di ba? Noon kay Moses, sige, sumilip ka sa siwang ng pagitan ng bato at dadaan ako doon. Walang opportunity si Moses nakita yung mukha, ang bilis eh. Speed, eh. Ang nakita na lang ni Moses, mga kapatid, likod. Hindi likod ng tupa. Oh. Amen? So, alam agad ni Moses, mga kapatid, na satisfy yung, yung longing ng kanyang heart, kahit likod man lang, Lord, kanya ang kalwalhatian ng Panginoon. Now, When I say glory, the glory is not just the Shekinah glory. Mas dakila, mas grabe ang glory ng Panginoon when He became blessed. Because what? That was His desire. Yun yung kanyang nasa mind before the foundation of the world. He wanted to be tangible. At yun ang pinakamatinding kalwalatian ng Panginoon when He was made flesh. What about today? Excited ang tao, mga kapatid, malaman today. But how about today? Now, let us see what Brother Banham said regarding his experience. Sabi niya, identified In the baptism of the Holy Ghost, out here on the street, something 40 years ago. I have it right now. The glory and power of God. Nasa kanya yung kaluwalhatian at kapangyarihan. Di ba yun yung kasama sa papuri na isinisigaw sa ating mga nabasa. Have it right now, the glory and power of God, amen, of forgiveness of sins. Nasa kanya na, yung kaluwalhatian at kapangyarihan ng Diyos na ano? Nang kasalanan. And I tell you, saints, hindi lang ang prophet because Brother Banam, the prophet is only the first fruit of this ministry. Amen. Of forgiveness of sins. I see him heal the sick, open the blinded eyes, see him foretell things, read the hearts of the people. Okay yun. Pero kulang. Ang matindi. Amen. Kasi yung bulag, nakakita man yung mata niya, pero mga kabadid, temporal lang yun. Kasi pwedeng mabulag at mamatay man siya, wala pa rin siyang daladalang buhay. Yung, yung mata, nakakita. Yung bulag. Nakita niya ang Panginoon nag, naglatag ng mga bagay na darating. Ah, batid. Ang pinaka matinding kapangyarihan ng Diyos ay yung magbigay ng buhay. Of course, hindi ka makapagbigay ng buhay kung wala kang kapangyarihan magpatawat. Okay. 
Amen. Pinaka main element ng reconciliation ay magpatawad. So, mga kapatid, hindi naman sinabi dito sa mga humihingi ng patawad. Hindi sinasabi eh. Pero may kapangyarihan ka magbigay ng tawad. O matitisod na naman yung iba. Hindi nga humingi ng tawad pero ikaw nagpatawad. Amen. Naunawaan natin yung mga kalagayan nila. Ngayon, ang pinaka effect nung pagbibigay mo ng patawad, later on, ma-realize nila uh, magmamanumbalik. Kasi hindi sila makabalik kung hindi mo sila bigyan ng biyaya. Identified with him in his ministry, Glory to God! I'm identified with him. Sa ano? For deliverance in these last days. So the purpose of God being expressed in this day is for what? Deliverance. Remember, he did not finish his work when he was here on earth, but he can now finish it through you. Impossible naman, mga kapatid, na magawa mo yun kung hindi ka bahagi. Mas mababa yung level mo. Hindi po pwede, hindi mo kayang gawin yun. Hindi ka magamit. Amen. I trust to be a part of a bride that's coming some of these days. Dumating ba siya? That's why itong darating na ito na sinasabi ni Brother Banam na great bride, Bride, of course, lahat yan. Bride lahat yan. Hindi naman natin pwedeng exclude sila when we say bride. Eh. Kaso lang, wala tayong magagawa. Sabi ni Brother Banam, my last day bride. He, without us, cannot be made perfect. Bakit? Perfection ay dumating dito lang sa time na ito. Because why? We have the perfect message. We have the perfect manifestation of God Himself because there's only one perfect and that is God. Meron bang perfect message kung walang Diyos, walang God? Kung walang God Himself because there's only one perfect and that is God. Meron bang perfect understanding kung walang perfect here? Wala, mga kapatid. So, we cannot reject that. And we're not supposed to reject that. Amen. So, anong tipo dito, mga kapatid? We notice another thing in the Old Testament. Amen. Of course, we know Old Testament is... And we are now in reality form. Uh, manifestation. We notice another thing in the Old Testament. I have the scripture here in Exodus that the old badger skins. So, dun sa si Kaina, or yung sa holiest of holy, may harang, may tabing. Hindi tela. Kasi pag tela, mga patid, hindi niya kakayanin yung very uh, shikahe na glory. Di ba mga badid? Ay, kailangan balat. Balat ng badger. Yung badger ay isang uri ng hayop na kung saan makapal at makunat ang kanyang balat. Hindi naman kasing kunat sa atin. <laughs> Of course, that's literal. That the old badger skins, what did it do? It hid the glory of God from the people. Kasi hindi basta-basta, mga kapatid, na makita ng tao ang uh, shikaina glory ng Diyos. Because if you're not worthy, you're dead. Pero nung nagkaroon na ng... Uh, 
lindol sa time ni Lord, mga kapatid, na punit yung tabing na yon, nag-change, mga kapatid. Noon, kung hindi mo, kung pumasok ka doon, hindi ka worthy, kasi pag uh, hindi ka worthy, uh, na makita mo yung glory ng Diyos, patay ka eh. Pero ngayon, <laughs> baliktad, kailangan mo makita yung glory. Makita yung glory, patay ka. Not literally, sa time na yun, literal. But this time, spiritually, you're dead. It hid the glory of God from the people. The badger skins. Even people could not see it. As a skin that held it. The skin was, the glory of God was behind the skin. Sa likod nung badger skin na yun, nandun yung glory. May inaalaw na pumasok doon and uh, that was the high priest. Basta, isang taon ang preparation. Ating sinasabi, may tali yung high priest sa bewang. Kaya si Padre Damaso, tingnan nyo may tali din. Mayroong kiling-kiling yung laylayan ng kanilang damit. Pag duma, naglalakad daw, umiikot, nagwawasik ng dugo doon, kililing, 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 kililing. Pag hindi na tumunog yun, mga kapatid, there must be something wrong. Ali, hindi nila pwedeng pasukin doon at buhatin. Dead ball sila eh. Kasi, mga kapatid, kailangan worthy yung papasok doon. Santa Cruz, anong tawag doon? Sakristan na may awak ng... Kiling-kiling eh. Amen, di ba? Kung ikaw ay mahilig sa popsicle, tapin mo yung popsicle sa loob ng simbahan. Amen. So ang purpose, mga kapatid, para itago. The glory of God is behind your skin. Sabi ko kanina, mga kapatid, sa time na yon, hindi pa panahon na ang glory na yon ay maging flesh. Pero mas matindi ang glory na yon ay nasa flesh. Bakit? Sa time na yon, hindi agad-agad pwede magbigay ng buhay. Napakahirap unawain. Napakahirap i-approach. But when that glory become flesh, mga kapatid, No need to approach Him. Kasi yung glory na yun, naging flesh, siya ngayon yung nag approach Nakita nyo mga kapatid? Basahin nyo ang history. Basahin nyo ang gospel. Brother Barnum said, Jesus never failed His appointments. Nagsayang ba siya ng oras? Hindi. Pumunta siya kay sa Keyos, nagsayang ba ng oras? Amen, pinagbigyan niya yung invitation ni Simon, nagsayang ba siya ng oras? Hindi, mga kapatid. Alam naman ng Panginoon na iisnabin siya ni Simon, ipapahiya siya ni Simon. Pero pumunta siya doon, hindi dahil sa invitation ni Simon, because that's the only way mamit niya, mga kapatid, yung redeemable subject. And that was Mary Magdalene. Pumunta siya sa lugar ni Zacchaeus. Amen? Nagkagulo ang mga tao because at that time, Jesus was very popular. Kailang kilala siya para siyang, kumbaga sa ating panahon eh, at parang si Digong. No? Kilalang kilala. Talagang pinag-uusapan siya at that time because of the uh, first pool and the second pool. Of course, not yet the third pool. Di ba? Itong Zacchaeus na ito, mga kapatid, very excited. Gusto niya makita personal. Ang Panginoon, kaso ang problema niya, kulang siya sa height. Tulad ni Dagol. Di ba? Mas malaki naman siya. Hindi siya, hindi nakalagay doon na unano siya. No? But hindi siya katangkaran. Eh, malalaki yung mga hudyo eh. Yung height nila. Eh, gusto man niyang 
makita personal ang ating Panginoon, sapat na sa Kanya yon. eh nagkakagulo na eh. Pero mga kapatid, why siya? Anong ginawa niya? Umakyat sa puno. ba? Diba? Kaya dapat umakyat kayo lagi sa puno. Puno ng buhay, no? Umakyat si siya kayo sa puno. Noon, bumaba ka dyan. Bakit? Huwag ka nang, uh, uh, huwag ka nang uh, mag-effort. Actually, pumunta si Lord doon sa keyo. Sa dami ng bahay, mga kapatid doon, pinunta niya si Sakeyo. Tignan niyo mga kapatid, hindi nga niya rin ebyok si Sakeyo eh. Ikaw si Keyo, ang dami mong kinupit. Hindi man nagsabi ng gano'n ng Panginoon eh. Siya na yung mismong kusa. Panginoon, matindi kasi yung glory. Panginoon, nanggulang ako. Isa sa uli ko na lang, Lord, may tubo pa. Di ba mga kapatid? Because why? In the presence of the Sekina glory. Mas dakila ang kalwalhatian nung siya ay nasa laman. Bakit? Pwede na siyang ma-approach. Pwede na siyang makamayan. Pwede na siyang makausap. Siya sa likod ng badger skin. Hindi. Hindi siya makausap. Text. Hindi siya matawagan. Nakuha niyo ang ibig ko sabihin, mga batid. And now, the glory of God is behind your skin. So, ito yung panahon natin. E nasan na daw yung glory? <laughs> Nasa likod niya mga balat na yan. ba? Diba? Amen. That's right. Don't, don't see it. Tradition, mga kapatid. I tell you, ang tradisyon na hindi makakita nito ay yung tradisyon na ang alam lang ng Diyo, na Diyos na napahayag ay si Jesus. That's a big tradition. Yes. Said, he himself said, God and Morphe. God is always changing His mask. Who can then deny that? Amen. And the traditions don't see it. At marami ngayon dito sa panahon na ito. Traditional end time message believers. Anong ibig sabihin? Nandyan na yung glory. Nandyan na yung glory. Pero mga kapatid, patuloy na uh, alam lang nilang tignan ay yung nakaraan. Kawawa ang mga tao na nakalingon pa rin doon at hindi nila makita yung presente na kalwalhatian ng Panginoon. Sabi ng prophet, the glory of God is behind your skin. Ulitin ko po, hindi natin inaangkin bilang individual. Yan ay kabuuan ng katawan ng ating Panginoon. Pero ganun pa man, hindi mo pwedeng alisin na ikaw ay bahagi noon. Eh, mahit isang kutsara ka, pero yung quality mo is the same as the ocean. It's not really the quantity, but it's the quality. Same. Kahit anong gawin mong analysis, it's the same. It's inside the bale where His word was. At itong word na ito, hindi yan basta-bastang word. Amen. Tandaan nyo palagi, hindi basta-bastang word. Mga kapatid, anandyan, beyond, or behind that skin. Ano yan? Word bride. Not spoken word, groom. It was already expressed. 
So ang nandyan behind the skin is the spoken word bride. In the spiritual, literal, spoken word bride. Amen. Sabi niya, We in Him, another quote, Then we being in Him, we are in Him, meaning you cannot separate. Amen. But of course, in different expression, but it's still the same because Jesus Himself said, In that day you shall know that I am in the Father, the Father in me, you and me, and I in you. What day? The prophet said, This day. We in Him. Because that's masculine and feminine. Then we being in Him, we are still bailed to the relig uh, religionists and pre professors of the world. Hindi naman mga kapatid yung galing mong magpaliwanag. Hindi yung galing mong magplastar ng mga quotation as scripture. Hindi ganun. Kulang yun eh kundi paano mo express, paano mo nauunawaan na ikaw ay nag express ng kanyang salita sa panahon na ito. Itinago. si anong sabi niya ron? Our glory that we have and enjoying, we are still built to them outsiders. Our glory. See? Our glory. Because you are identified. And if you are identified, mga kabadid, parang ang pangit naman eh, lagi mo nalang inihiwala yung sarili mo. Christ himself, may mga pagkakataon, hindi ko sariling gawa, but siya. May mababasa ka rin na siya. Diba mga abadid? So that's the mystery because it's God man race. Amen. Dapat maunawaan natin. Amen. Glory that we have. Are you enjoying? <laughs> Alam nyo mga kapatid, walang makapagbigay ng uh, enjoyable moment sa ngayon. Amen. Yung counting ha, uh, pera, uh, madali lang mawala. Nakangiti nga ngayon, maya-maya. Oh. Pag wala na yun, tayo nakatingin. Pero hindi na ngayon tayo ganun. Our glory that we have and enjoying, we are still bailed to them, outsiders. Because this is only for the elect. They think we're crazy and not again. Mga baliw. Wala na. na nakalas na yung mga ruskas ng mga taga-angeles. Lumuwag yung mga turnilyo ni Brother Jun. Di ba mga baliw? That's the meaning of it. Eh bakit again? Because history repeats itself. Di ba ganun din nung tingin nila sa Panginoon? Kaya nga pinako siya eh. Hindi ka namin binabato dahil sa mga ginagawa mo. Ang ganda nga eh. Di ba? Pero binabato ka namin dahil ikaw na tao. Ginagawa mo yung sarili mo na Diyos. Kaya nga again eh. See? See? That's right. But we who are in here, in where? In Christ, baptized into Him, 1 Corinthians 12, we are partakers of this, what? Glory. See? But not on the outside. You're still looking in, denying it, see? So, now we are invited into Him to be partakers of all that He is. All is. 
Because that's the purpose. All that was in God, He poured into Christ. In Christ, He poured into the church to have the preeminence. Di ba mga kapatid? Amen. And then, you are denying it. It shows you never have it. We're invited into Him, which is He to unbelievers of human flesh. Natao lang tayo eh. Sex birth lang tayo eh. Siya hindi. Doon nagkakaroon ng uh, they know that glory they read of it is the word here. The glory of God and things like that. It's just a word to them. Word lang. To us, it's a manifestation. Saan? In you. Because that glory is now behind that skin. Kaya nga hindi makita eh. Nakatago eh. But the glory of God, the Shekinah glory of God is behind that skin. Amen. So every time makita ka, ah, nagmamapuri na naman yung si Sister Alice Tang. Inaagaw niya yung glory. But we have a clear understanding. Hindi naman tayo ganun kabara-bara because it cannot be claimed by one person. It is for the whole mystical bride body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang mahalaga, bahagi tayo nun. So every time we claim, speak about it, alam natin, we are identified with it. Because it's a manifestation. See? Lord, it's a reality. Amen. Ngayon. Reality ba? But to them, it's still a word. And that's the big difference. Pwede mong i-place positionally. Word, ito yung word, ito yung word. Kahit perfect yan. Amen. But for us, it's not just a word. It's a reality. Amen. So you know now where that glory is. He said, hindi basta-basta. To come in behind that badger skin until you get out of your old skin your old thoughts, your old creeds, and come into the presence of God, then the word becomes a reality to you. Another, it's another quote. Until you come in behind that badger skin. Ayan. Until you get out of your old skin. Ano yung old thoughts? Jesus alone. With a wrong understanding. Tama ni Jesus alone, but we have now the clear understanding. That alone is both masculine and feminine. One unit. <laughs> your old creeds and come into the presence of God, then the Word becomes a living reality to you. Then you're awakened to where? To the Shekinah glory. Then what happened? Then the Bible becomes a new book. Then what happened? Jesus Christ is the same 
yesterday, today, and forever. Ang ganda niyan, mga kap Amen. Si Jesus Christ ngayon is not just yesterday, today. Now, naunawaan mo, mga kapatid, and you are keeping on looking dun sa yesterday, hindi mo makita yung today. Baka ang hinahanap mo ay yung mahaba yung bigot at balbas, you have a wrong revelation. Yeah. Napakaraming quotes, Christ in bride form. Yeah. Na naman, mga kapatid, ayaw na nila ng bride. Sanop man na. Hindi naman pwedeng magpakasal. Papakasalan niya, lalaki din. Same spirit ngayon sa ating time. Same sex marriage. Hindi po pwede. Anong ibig sabihin yung Old Testament complete? Yung New Testament complete? Ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, that's the complete bright body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, we believe Christ is our head. Pero wag natin ilagay yung structure. Alangan naman yung ulo, lalaki, katawan, babae. Testament, ang ulo, baba, ulo ng babae pa rin. Yung katawan, katawan ng babae pa rin kinasal, mga kapatid, tama ang ulo ngayon, ang lalaki. But in the beginning, it was not so. Because why? The masculine and the feminine are co-equal. <laughs> Babati ko kasi tayo dito. Pero that's the reality. Bakit naging co-equal? Kasi yung mind ng, ng, ng masculine, yun din yung mind ng feminine. Kaya lang naman nawala yon because of the fall. Di ba? Kasama ng sumpa, ikaw ngayon ay magpapahinuhod sa asawa mong lalaki. But in the beginning, walang case na ganun because the mind of uh, the groom is the mind of the bride. Same. The same mind. The same in everything. Kaya ngayon ang binabalik ng ating Panginoon. Bone of His bone, flesh of His flesh, spirit of His spirit. Amen. Because they are one to begin with. And that's the, uh, the place na dinadala tayo ng ating Panginoon. Of course, we are not uh, uh, dogmatic or uh, parang uh, sa literal na manifestation. Di ba mga kapatid? Huwag kayong mag-alala. Hindi ako magkakasal na pareho na katalukbong. Eh parehong nawala. Eh, di pa siguro, parehong nasa shoulder nila. Wala, papatikusin talaga tayo dito. Wala, wala na. Amen. So, ano pa sabi? Amen. Bible becomes a new book. Then Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Living in his presence, eating the shoe bread that's only provided that day for believers. Malayan na tayong kumain. Actually, not only the shoe bread. We are now eating the hidden manna on the pot. Like David, kinain niya eh. Hindi siya worthy to eat that shoe bread because why? Amen. And he was not a Levites. Pero kumain siya. At uh, hindi siya pinarusahan. Gutom eh. Di ba mga patid? Ang pinakamatindi nun, Amen. Kung pumasok si David, doon siya si Kay na glory. At pagdiskitahan niya, yung naandapat. Wala na yung hidden mana. Hinahanap ngayon ng mga crusaders. Nasaan na yung mga gamit na yun, but uh, wala na. Because why? Reality. <laughs> Because those are only types and shadows. Amen. At yung hidden mana na nandun sa uh, vessel he, uh, na yun, pot, mga kapatid, nandyan na. 
because you are the earthen vessel. You are the pot, and the hidden mana is now in you to begin with. And we are priests, royal priesthood, a holy nation, peculiar people, giving spiritual sacrifices. But you must come in to behind the veil to see the unveiled God. And, and God is unveiled. And that is his word made manifest. What word? What word? Word bright. <laughs> Amen. Very simple, di ba? Kung siya ay word, ang bright ay word din. Uh, never came from different material. It's the same material. Amen. So, we have that glory. Now, do you have the power? <laughs> Amen. So, napakaraming quotes, but of course, I want to uh, directly dun sa wisdom. The power. Amen. Because why? Sabi ng prophet, referring to his wife, that little girl sitting back there used to be a broy. But she's a Branham now. She's my wife. Amen. Gusto ni Branham ilarawan. Ano yung uh, nangyari when that broy became Branham? Jesus Christ, at that time, it was preached 1953, Jesus Christ will be Mrs. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Baptized in His Spirit. Ano mo na lang, dalawa lang yata, brad. Amen. The bride of Jesus Christ will be Mrs. Jesus Christ. Will be Mrs. MRS period. Oh, yan. Mrs. Jesus Christ. Baptized in His Spirit, in His name. Ang pagkasabi, Filled with His power. And worse, the power lays in His name. And then you have that name. Then very simple. You have the power. <laughs> filled with His power. Righteousness. Hallelujah. There she is. And now notice, that was the Gentile. Amen. And in other quotes, Amen said, And he, and as he being the groom, the bride has to come forth. Not from different source, but it's the same source. Part of him. And it can only be the manifestation of the fulfilling of all the revelations any others has spoke of the bride. It can only manifest if it does something different from the groom, it isn't the bride. So they have to be with the same material. Because he is flesh of his flesh, bone of his bone, life of his life, power of his power. She is him. And I cannot deny that. Amen. So it's in your hands. It's in your rather. It's yours. Amen. Hindi ito power, mga kapatid na, yung 
manzanas, fried chicken, tapos gawin siyang litsun. Hindi ganong power. That's carnal eh. Nakita natin kanina, sabi ng prophet, I have now the glory and the power. To what? To give life because that's God's purpose. Ating yung panahon na yun, huwag kayong mag-alala. Hindi pa ngayon. But if necessary, I want to repeat that. If necessary, God, mga kapatid, He said, in the token message, God will honor your word. Ang sirkumstansya, you need it. God will allow it. Yan, mga kapatid, for a show. Di ba? Hindi yan for public show. Hindi yan para, di ba, grabe yung mga bride talaga. Anyway, you can convince multitudes of people. Ano natin sinasabi dito, mga kapatid? Amen. Kung yung pinugutan ng mauti, may kapangyarihan kang ididikit at fifty-fifty sa ospital. Amen. Dumaang ka lang doon. Biglang bumangon yung mga nandun sa, la, uh, sa ospital. What do you expect? Eh talagang may, magkakaroon ka ng ano, iba-ibang klaseng uh, pabango. Diba? Kasi bawat panyo, iba-ibang pabango, gaganon sa'yo. Diba? Magiging popular ka. Then it's against His Word. Because God is hiding Himself in simplicity. Nakaraan na yun because that's the only way to attract the attention of the people. Hindi yun ang main thing. The main thing is the revealing of the Word. But again, kung i-allow ng Panginoon, i-permit ng Panginoon, you need it, then God will what you say. Di ba? Lord, bigyan mo ako ng vision. Um, lalabas na numero. Iyari tayo. Hindi ganun power. Nakita natin kanina, the power to forgive sin. The power. In other words, the power to give life. The power. Amen. To call on predestinated seeds of God. Because this was His purpose. Hindi yung kung ano ang naglaro ng isip ng tao. Doon sa uh, sa Facebook. Sige nga. Gayahin nyo nga yung ginawa ni Brother Banam. <laughs> oh, hindi ganun, mga kapatid. Amen. Power of His power. Amen. But uh, we know what uh, that power is. That power is to impart eternal life. Amen. Amen. To call on the predestinated and elect of God in this day and age. Amen. That's the reason why meron siyang wisdom in this day sa uh, kasama na uh, nahayag at uh, nag-manifest ayong wisdom ng Panginoon. Amen. Di ba mga batid? And that wisdom again, the Bible said, si Christ ang wisdom of God. You believe that? First Corinthians? Amen. And then, of course, 
when we say He is the power and the wisdom of God or Christ, who is then the power and the wisdom of Christ? Then, hindi natin pwede itong parang i-separate. Hindi natin pwede itong i-chop-chop. Amen. Sabi niya, it's uh, about Him, and of course, it's about the bride. John first notices and mentions the whiteness of His hair. Panagitan natin, eh, uh, sa chapter 1, His hair is white as snow. As white as snow. Amen. Minensyon ni Jan, ayon dun sa nakita niya. And as bright as snow. This was not because of his age. Hindi dahil sa kanyang edad. 33 years old. Amen si Christ. Pero ang nakita, mga kapatid, yung buhok niya ay uh, white as snow. Amen. Oh no. The brilliantly white hair does not signify age, but experience, maturity, and wisdom. Amen. The same thing with us. Before, as a child, yung ating mga kilos, mga understanding natin, bata talaga eh. Pero hindi na natiling ganun. At yun, nagbigay sa atin ng more stronger and more firm na stand dito sa revelation na ito. If not, mga kapatid, saan kaya tayo pupulutin? The eternal one does not age. Hindi ko sa'yo, one lang eh. Make it sure, mga kapatid, na yung one na yun, one ay masculine and feminine. The eternal one does not age. To God. Time means little to God. But wisdom means much. Because all things, mga kapatid, ay nalatag because of that wisdom. We've been saying here, na yun ay maraming natitisod, na we were there. Which is true. But not the way like this. Man tayong clear understanding. And that's the reason why, by the way, Brother Banam said, this is now the blending of Bagamat sabi ng prophet, time is the measurement of death. But before, mga kapatid, that time, mga kapatid, ay hindi measurement of death. Bakit? Eh wala pa man death nun. Day one, ito nilikha. Day two, and the third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day. Di ba yan time? But at the time, because wala pang sin, it is not a measurement of death. Di ba? Genesis 1, may, may sin na ba doon? Unang araw, ikalawang araw, ikatlong araw, ikaapat na araw. There's a time, but it is not a measurement of death. It's a season na ginagawa, i-manifest ng Diyos kung ano nandun sa kanyang mind. Time means little to God, but wisdom means much. 
As when Solomon called to God for wisdom to judge the people of Israel. That's the purpose. Amen. Kasi hindi niya kayang i-execute yung perfect judgment kasi ayaw ni Solomon na maging at walang kaayusan yung kanyang kaharian. By the way, during the time of Solomon, that was the most peaceful for Israel at that time. Because we know, mayroong pandarating. And that's millennium. Amen. So, ginamit niya yung wisdom. And after receiving that wisdom, he judged, mga kapatid, between woman. Salang agad. Di ba, mga kapatid? Sabi niya doon sa yung isang mother na matay yung anak niya, yung isa nabuhay. Eh, dahil sa kapabayaan ng nanay, niya. And then, uh, in the morning, kinuha niya yung anak nung uh, kasama niya na buhay. Uh, we, we know the story, mga kapatid. And in this day, nakita natin yung kahalagahan ng buhay. Di ba? Ang sabi ng tunay na nanay, uh, sabi ni Solomon, akin na nga yung tabak. Hatiin na lang natin. Uh, parang si Pagong at saka si Maching, no? Hatiin na lang natin. Yung isa, yung kalahati sa'yo. Yung kalahati sa'yo. Of course, patay yung bata. <laughs> sabi ng nanay, ah, sige. Oh, yung isa. Pero yung original na mother, sabi niya, iibigay mo na lamang sa kanya. Kasi mahalaga sa kanya yung buhay. Dahil anak niya yun eh. Nasa mind niya, nasa heart niya yung welfare ng kanyang anak. Si paubayan mo na lang sa kanya. And then, Amen. Meron agad. Amen. Righteous judgment si Solomon. Sabi niya, impersonator. Amen. Nag-angkin ka ng message na ito, pero ang claim mo patay. Dito nag uh, yung mother na ito nag-claim, pero ang claim niya buhay. Real. Sabi ni Haring Solomon, ito yung totoong mother. Amen. Di ba mabadid? And we need that wisdom. Wisdom right now. Amen. Ang pinakamatalinong tao sa ibabaw ng mundo, sa kasaysayan, ng Biblia ay si Solomon. That is wrong. Meron pa kayang mas matalas ang wisdom kaysa sa Panginoon mismo? At sa kanyang bride in this day, oh, alamin natin ito mga kapatid kasi tao talaga very limited yung kanyang isip eh. Amen. Sabi niya, Now He is coming, the judge of all the earth. Amen. And uh, dumating na siya. Amen. He left His intercessor seat. Intercessory seat. Mediatorial seat. And he is now, Brother Banham said, a judge. Narito siya as a judge. Mga kapatid, you can judge between right and wrong. Because if you cannot judge between right and wrong, ayaw eh. And that's the reason why narito siya. This is the most deceiving age, remember? Remember? supposed to be the ability to judge between right and wrong. Because you cannot correct the error in this day 
if you don't know the truth. Amen. Of course, may literal na judgment. Sabi ni Paul, di nyo baga alam mag, ha, uh, mag uh, hahatol kayo. Do? Di ba? Hahatulan din nyo ang mga anghel. Eh kung hahatulan nyo ang mga anghel, di lalo na yung mga bagay na nand Amen. Amen. He is coming, the judge of all the earth. He will be crowned with wisdom. White and uh, glistening hair signifies. See this in Daniel 7, 9, 14. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. White as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand, thousands ministered unto him and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were open. I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. As concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time. I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and with the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Amen. Dumating yung one like the Son of Man na yun ay lumakad sa loob ng seven church ages. Amen. Nakita ni John ang event, mga kabatid, ng Sunset Mountain. Amen. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Daniel saw him with that white hair. He was the judge opening the books and judging out of them. Daniel saw him coming in clouds. Amen. Nakita ni Daniel na darating siya alapaap. One day, makikita yan ng Israel. Yung kanyang coming to them, to reveal himself to them. But before that, meron munang coming. Kailan yun? 1963. And we are not just a witness. Identified with the coming. John saw. They both saw him exactly the same. They saw the judge with his judgment girdle, standing pure and holy, full of wisdom, fully qualified to judge the world in righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. Sa mga kabadid, kung walang clear understanding, then we can have our own ideas and opinions Remember, Brad Banham said, don't isolate quotes. Yeah. Amen. And then, sa ikinokonek ni Brad Banham, yung coming ng clouds. Sabi niya, from the very thing happening, to the picture being, Jesus is standing looking at us, ito yon. That was the picture. Remember, nung wala sa right angle yung picture, hindi mo makikita, but the angel told the prophet, turn it right. Ipihit mo pa kanan. At nung pinihit sa kanan, sabi ng prophet, wow. Again, it's Christ. 
But the corporal, in the street, because his purpose, I manahan in fullness. Saan? Sa bride, because why? Hindi pwede yung corporal na ma-express in this day because nandito yung corporal body niya na bride or the mystical body, the bride body. Di ba mga body? It's our season. Hindi po pwede. Siya ay first masterpiece and it takes 4,000 years to build that first masterpiece. And it takes 2,000 years to build another masterpiece. And that's the bride. Amen. So, nandiyan na? So, Jesus is standing looking at us. And now, exactly on Sunset Mountain and the sunset light, the evening light has come. There's a lot of prophecy. Zechariah, and dami. In the evening time, it shall be light. God vindicating what? God vindicating himself. <laughs> so in other words, that was vindication. What is it? It is the facts that God and Christ, the white, how many seen it, the white wig upon him. As we talk in Revelations 1, ni refer niya yon. See, the supreme deity, authority, no other voice, no other God, no other nothing. In him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The angels themselves has weak, was his weak. Amen. Those angels has a message. Ano yung message nila? Remember, those angels, lumipat na yun, na wala. Napakabilis. Uh, with a terrific speed. Biglang naglaho. Because why? Amen. <laughs> Kayo mag-isip. Kailangan na mabuksan yung selyo. At kailangan na yung sword na nasa kanya. Sana. Saan? Sa bride. And that sword is not an ordinary sword. Sword of the king. Not a king, the king. Amen. At nung nandun sa kamay ng prophet, it's the third pool. Na-open yung seals, at ang result nung ma-open yung seals, nalaman natin na ang bride na ito pala ay unti-unting nag-manifest sa loob ng seven church ages and we are now in the very climax. Amen. In the very moment na kailangan na, mga kapatid, na ang bride na ito ay tumayo sa kanyang mga paa. Sa Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Yun na ang uh, full expression or full message or rather I will say yun na yung message na nailarawan ng prophet ang purpose of that coming. He said, all that was in God he poured into Christ as he poured into the church. The fullness of the God he had dwells in him. The complete the now dwells in His church. Dito na ngayon sa ating time. So it's the same God. What happened upon Sunset Mountain? God confirming His word. 
That's what all this noise is about. Notice, it's God fulfilling His promise word again of Revelation 10, 1 to 7. Doon. But it's not just 1 to 7. Sa time na yun, na-fulfill yung 1 to 7, 10, 1 to 7. But there's still a fulfillment of 10, 8 to 11. Of the sounding of the seven angels' message, the mystery of God should be finished. Mystery of Revelation 10, 1 to 7, the last message to the last church age fulfills exactly in this age what? St. Luke 17, 30, the day when the Son of Man shall be revealed. And I challenge you to believe, Brother Banham said, that the Son of Man is expressed in the form of the bride. Last na to. Amen. At the white throne judgment. So, dapat meron tayong wisdom right now. Because we will judge. And we are judging between right and wrong. We are judging between the false and the truth. And uh, God can do that. Only God can do that. Both the righteous and the unrighteous in this judgment. There will be both the righteous and the unrighteous in this judgment. It says so. This righteous will not be the bride. It's with him in judgment. And you cannot sit there if you don't have the wisdom. 1 Corinthians 6, 2, 3. Know that the saints shall judge the world. And if the world shall be judged by you, he to judge the smallest matters. What smallest matters? Yung mga bagay na nangyayari sa buhay natin. Amen. Know ye not that you shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? Revelation 3.21 To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. I also overcame and I'm set down with my father in his throne. See, the bride is with him in the throne. You cannot be there. And sa mga nabasa natin, not have that white hair. <laughs> or wisdom. Of course, that's not literal. It's symbolical. As she is to judge the world, she has to be sitting in the judgment with him. That is exactly what Daniel saw. So, hindi mo po pwede talaga na ilagay siya ng Polish virgin, righteous, innocent. Hindi po pwede, mga kapatid. Wrong idea. Because she is just a creation. No. <laughs> In, uh, kung ganun yung presentation natin, walang eternal quality ang bright. Well, 7, 9, 10, And I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool, his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and come forth from before him, Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, and the books were open. See, it is the same scene for the thousand thousands who are ministering to him are the bride. For who ministers to the husband but the wife? Both of them will be there judging people. So you cannot judge. You cannot be a judge 
without wisdom. And we are so thankful, we are identified nung bumaba yung person with white wig, merong kalakip doon sa kanyang pagbaba. Sino kaya yon? The purpose of that coming is to awaken the bride. Awaken from Amen. Doon sa kanyang sakit na amnesia. Kaya nga kung hindi mo pa rin kilala ang sarili mo in this day, ang naaalala mo lang ay groom at yung bride hindi mo kilala, sarili mo hindi mo kilala, ay amnesia. <laughs> at sorry to say, napakaraming may amnesia in this day. Hindi nila kilala kung sino sila. But I know and I believe you know who are you and I know also who I am. Amen? Kasi kung hanggang ngayon Nag-aala tsamba pa rin tayo, mga kapatid. Meron kayang kagalakan na ibubunga nito sa atin. Of course, we are preaching this, amen, upang tayo ay magmapuri. No. Isang kagalakan, mga kapatid, yung kilala mo, makilala mo ang sarili mo. Kung ano yung uh, capability mo. Ang isang mahirap na kalagayan, hindi mo kilala kung ano yung capability mo. Alam nyo kung sino yung mga ganong mga tao na hindi nila alam kung ano yung capability nila? Amen. Sila naman ay si Juan. Inyong kilala? Juan Tamad. <laughs> Amen. Meron silang capability to do something. Ta wala silang ginagawa. Come what may. 'Di ba? Kaya nandiyan na yung bayabas. Si Juan Tamad. Hinihintay niyang mahulog yung bayabas. E eh, pwede naman na niyang abutin. Baka mapagod siya. Di ba ganyan din? Ang liwanag na ng mensahe na ito. Di ba mga kapatid? Hindi, hintayin natin. Wag mo... Sino mag-aangkin ibon? Ayan, inunahan tuloy ng ibon. Oh, tinuka, yung, tinuka ng ibon yung kalahati. Pam na yun, naunanahan ako ah. Talagang minintay talaga niya. Eh, lumabas na yung bulati. Nakihati pa. Di ba? Ah, mahirap yan mga patid. So yun ang danger sa tao, mga kapatid, na hindi niya alam kung ano yung capability niya. Amen? Ang resulta nun, katamaran. Ayaw na magpatuloy, ayaw na niyang magdig. Amen? Akala niya, napakataas na niya, pero in reality, marami siyang nalagpasan. Bible? Si Hare? Amen? Yung snow rabbit? Kala niya, napakabilis niya. Sar uh, maganda siguro, ulitin natin yung first Bible. Eh. <laughs> Ang linaw-linaw noon, even our present condition, napakaliwanag. Akala ni Hare, siya niyo, hindi buhok ano, H-A-R-E. Akala niya, siya na yung panalo eh. <laughs> Only to find out, 
Amen. Masyado siyang nagkampante. Napakabilis yung kanyang ano eh, yung movement niya. And then malapit na sana siya sa finish line, nagpop up siya. Ah, wala nang papantay sa akin dito. Ang ginawa niya, yan na lang yung finish line, umupo siya at nag-relax. Sa karerelax niya, nakatulog. Kaya yung pagong, slowly but surely, tulog, naabutan siya at nauna pa sa finish line. Kaya huwag magmapuri. Huwag nating makin ang mga tao. Kasi hindi natin alam pa kung ano yung Panginoon. Ang mahalaga kilala natin ng ating sarili. And that's what we are praying. Makita na wa din nila. Of course, hindi makikita ng mga hindi tinalaga. Lastly, Amen. Yung isang tao, alam niya na yung mapa ay totoo. Doon sa lupa na yon nakabaon yung kayamanan ni Yamasita. So ang ginawa niya, hinukay niya. Yung lupa, pag anong-ganon, iwan ko kung ano. <laughs> Direksyon. And then napagod siya. But remember, nung una sigurado siya eh. Yung mapa. Sabi niya, sayang lang pala yung aking pagpapagal. Isang dangkal na lang, yun na. Dangkal na lang, yan na eh. Hindi man niya alam. Sabi niya, wa, akala ko genuine ito. Akala ko totoo ito. Itong mensahe na ito na nag-reduce pa man din ako, hindi pala. Is nakalagay ng tao. Don't stop the momentum. Just continue. So anong ginawa niya? Nawala yung ano niya eh, momentum niya. Wala, ibenta ako na lang. So binenta niya yung lupa. Tinig na ngayon ng bumili. Sabi niya, authentic ito, totoo to. Kailangan lang dito, mga kapatid, pagtitsaga. Tapos naman na niya, aking ipagpapatuloy. Paghukay niya, tug! Aba, isang ganun lang ng bareta, yun na pala. Amen. Saan kayo doon? Ang haba-habang hinukay, lawit na ang dila sa kahuhukay, Hukay dito, hukay doon. And later on, nasayang lang naman. ba? Diba? Isang malaking aral na pulot natin. Minsan, yung ginagawa ng iba, tayo yung nagbe-benefit. Because every time, mga kapatid, effort sila ng effort, effort ng effort. The way naman na ganun, mga kapatid, nakikita natin. Nakikita natin. Amen. Kaya hindi nang kakapagod. Because every time, alukay sila ng alukay, present dito, present doon. We don't need to do that. Because why? We are identified with that treasure. Isang dangkal na lang. Sana. Nawala yung momentum at choink. I know it will not happen to us. Sabi ng prophet, kung merong kang buto, bukas, alam mo, babaguhin na itong katawan na ito, patuloy pa rin nagawin mo. Amen! Hindi tayo doomsday. Hindi tayo nagmamadali. Hindi tayo nag-aapura. 
lahat mga kapatid ay nagpapatianod lang tayo. Even the time frame, time element ng Panginoon, everything. Hindi pwede maaga o malit ang Panginoon. Nandun siya lagi sa eksaktong panahon. So we are so thankful. Kaya it's in, our, it's in my heart, really. Malayo pa man din. We really need to go back. Pagdating ng ating, uh, I will say, anniversary, hindi talaga nakakahinayang na ating i-celebrate ang ating anniversary. So we are looking forward also table and let us look back kung ano yung ating pinagdaanan at magpasalamat sa Panginoon. Kasi sa ngayon, sa tagal natin pinagdaanan, yun ay kampante dahil sa pagpapagal natin na yun, finally, naabot natin at nahukay natin yung kayamanan na ating minimiti. Amen? So it's really necessary na magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon. Amen. Siguro, gastos. No! <laughs> Hindi naman magastos mag-celebrate ng... Amen. So salamat sa Panginoon. Another thing, announcement na lang man po. Nagsimula na po ang, uh, ang uh, activity ng young people sa mga churches. Nasa heart ko, mga kapatid, na para bang na itong mga young people na ito really ay talagang ma-activate. Siguro dito sa local church, kailangan na meron ding activated na young people. Masaya, masa, napakagandang tignan na unti-unti yung mga young people ay nagpa-participate na services, of course, nagpapagamit, kumakanta. And uh, para lalo yan na makultivate, napag-usap-usapan namin na magkaroon ng uh, youth camp. So para maganap at magkaroon yan ng uh, katuparan, starting to lay down the foundation para yan ay magiging successful. So itong July 1, it will be the second uh, meeting leaders ng mga churches. So ako yung uh, parang uh, napili nilang mouth those uh, uh, youth leaders mag lay down ng uh, foundation para lalo silang maging uh, lalong maging active sa gawain ng Panginoon. Because the prophet said, the, the youth, the young people, people are also the pillars of the church. We cannot deny that. So siguro, uh, kahit na simple lang natin, kahit simple lang, dapat magkaroon talaga din ng uh, youth ano parang uh, activation ng youth group tingnan natin kung sino yung uh, may ability to lead them kasi dapat may youth leader din at uh, habang wala pa greeno groom namin actually ni brother Eric ay si brother Joed pero hindi namin alam yung kanyang uh, mga schedules, siguro pag napunta siya dito ay kausaping uh, mabuti. So sa ngayon, siguro, if uh, all of you agree, will agree, muna ang uh, parang uh, advisor nila or rather will uh, uh, mag-titingin uh, sa kanila. But of course, hindi si Brother Eric ang uh, youth leader, but siya siguro yung higit na nakakaalam sa ano sa kung ano yung mabuting direction or uh, uh, maganda na platform ng uh, uh, young people and of course the elders will uh, just uh, behind uh, brother Eric, brother Edgar, brother June karon ng uh, 
para nga uh, young people din talaga dito sa local church nito. Marami na sila dati mga malilit pa kasi so hindi natin sila masyado nabibigyan ng pansin. Pero this time ay uh, po pwede na. Madadagdagan din yung kaalaman nila kasi nung uh, first youth leader uh, uh, fellowship versus uh, yung mga books ma hindi nga wala talaga alam eh. yung ano eh kung ilang gig o oh. <laughs> <laughs> yun mga gadget of course we wanted na mabalance din nila din sila talaga sa pagtitipon so yan ay kinakasana namin yung uh, youth camp. So that will be a... Kasi naalala ko kami noon na mga youth leader, almost lahat na youth leader naging pastor. Naging pastor. Sila pastor, Pastor Junjun, sila Brother Michael, naging mga pastor na rin. So I believe uh, merong mga potential ang mga young people, amen, maging uh, katuwang natin sa ministry. Praise the Lord. So, meron bang ibang mga ano pa? Mga ano yung nasa heart ninyo or something you can uh, add or uh, inputs? Pwede. <laughs> Dire-diretso na. Brother Eric or Brother Jim, Brother Edgar, meron kayong mga inputs. You can uh, ma-integrate ma natin para maging kompleto na eh. Uh, Di ba? Nag-o-offer nag, uh, na ng uh, awitin, nagpapagamit na sila sa music. Siguro, ipasok din natin yung worship uh, and uh, commitment nila talaga dito sa at hindi laro. <laughs> hindi lang puro laro, hindi lang puro computer, kundi magkaroon din sila ng uh, parang uh, portion. I will say portion kasi hindi mo man bibigla yan eh. Basta unti-unti ma-realize ma din nila yung importance at yung uh, uh, ministry na pwede rin nilang maiambag, lalong-lalo na dito sa maliit na iglesia na ito. Abadid. Amen. Nakikita ko, ang bibilis na nila kasing, ano eh, only a sign na tumatanda na rin tayo. <laughs> uh, Di ba? So, Uh, Brother Eric, next siguro, kasi sa Sunday wala kayo dito, di ba? So next time, we will talk about it. Karoon tayo rin ng parang ano din, parang, uh, parang uh, mailatag din natin yung pinaka-foundation din nila. Ano yung, I mean, yung, ano yung kanilang uh, pwedeng uh, tungtungan din na pathways para ma-involve sila sa ministry ng ating Panginoon. So, salamat sa Panginoon. Ano? It's in my heart. Humingi ako ng pasensya. Talagang medyo napapahaba talaga ako. O, oh, napapahaba talaga ako ngayon because I really wanted na maiano yan, mailapat na ng... Because uh, that is the most controversial issue ngayon para sa akin in this day. Amen. So tomorrow, I don't kina Brother uh, Edgar. Oh, para sa ating uh, service din sa uh, wake ng kanyang mother. So ano pa? Then, uh, diretso, diretso na tayo. Concerns? Any concerns? Na, na natitisod ba kayo sa akin? You know, sometimes mga kapatid, nagiging sharp na ako ngayon. Humingi ako ng paumanhin. Kung nasasaktan kayo, 
every time na pupuna ako yung way ninyo ng pagte-testimony. It's, it's for you. Para sa inyo din. Because we really wanted na itong church na ito ay daluyan ng uh, pagpapala. Daluyan ng kalakasan. Kaya Sister Maribel, I believe na intindihan niya. Oh, Sister uh, Grace, na intindihan niya din. Sister Alice, na intindihan din niya. But of course, we know our uh, uh, limitations din. Hindi yung uh, all free. <laughs> Because God is not the author of confusion. Still, we are not in the, I will say we are not uh, leaning on the COD because the COD should be made flesh also. <laughs> I want to repeat that. Hindi natin inaalis yung COD. Pero dapat yung COD, hindi na yan paulit-ulit na nilalatag natin dito. We are more than that now. Because the COD itself, the law itself, become less. Natin, <laughs> it's in us now. Hindi na dapat paalala. Yung paulit-ulit na paalala, ibig sabihin, pagkabata. <laughs> Gusto ko lang linawin, hindi ako galit to any person. Ano naman yun. But uh, pag, pag napuna akong ganun, talagang automatic yon mga kapatid. Anything? <laughs> Amen. So, salamat sa Panginoon. Baka nahiya lang kayo eh. <laughs> Amen. So, Salamat sa Panginoon sa kanyang biyaya. I will call uh, Brother Eric to uh, lead us in uh, our closing song and prayer. <laughs> na ma marinig talaga ba't ayaw ko i-stop yung mo momentum. Baka malimutan ko na sa susunod yung gusto kong sabihin. Amen. So God bless you Brother Eric. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ating awitin yung uh, just like an eagle. Be like an eagle pala. <laughs> pala yung title. <laughs> Tayong lahat ay tumayo. If you have something also in your heart, matulungan din natin si Uh, princess, yung anak ni mga pamangkin ni, pamangkin ni Brother June. Pwede rin if you have something in your heart, desire na tumulong o magbigay ng offering, we can uh, also give our special offering. Tayong lahat ay tumayo. Page 102 sa Selections. Just like an eagle, we fly above the skies and clearly see things that are to be no matter what side may come no matter what happens to this world our wings will lift us high lift us high Above the heavens, living on 
this world behind. Let us fly so high. We will meet the Lord in the sky. Amen. Be like an eagle living in peace and trust those wings can lead him to all things he may be hurt and locked in a cage he'll find his way out till he's safe and cry out i can fly I can't fly beyond the heavens, leaving all this world behind. Let us fly so high, we will meet. Lord in the sky. At times you were tested, hurt, and tried, and all you feel is just to slide. He is there to guide. Thank you, Lord. Stop furlings and pride. From all your problems you can hide. Spread your wings and fly. Lift us high. Lift us high above the heavens. Leaving all this world behind. Let us fly so high, we will be Lord in the sky. You can fly, you can fly beyond the heavens, leaving all this world behind let us fly so high we will meet the lord we will meet the lord we will meet the lord Lord Jesus Christ, maraming salamat po, Panginoon Lord, at kami ay uh, pinagkalooban mo, Panginoon Lord. Pakpak, Panginoon Lord, ang pakpak ng kapahayagan, Panginoon Lord, na pinagkaloob mo sa amin, Panginoon Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po. At uh, lubos mong uh, ipinahayag sa amin kung sino ka, kung sino kami. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon Lord. At sa pamamagitan nito, Panginoon Lord, salamat sa humility mo, Panginoon Lord. Ang uh, tungtungan na siyang aming sandata, Panginoon Lord. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon Lord. Ano man, Panginoon Lord, ang uh, programa, ano mang activities na ahead of us, mga missions, mga uh, project na mga youth, Panginoon Lord Jesus Christ, higit sa lahat, Ano mang ginagawa ng nobya, iglesia na ito, Panginoon Lord. Alam namin na ito ay pagpapalain mo, Panginoon Lord. Ang bawat individual, ano mang inispeak ng bawat isa sa pamamagitan ng pagtuturo mo, Panginoong Jesus, sa likod ng pulpito na itinalaga mo, Panginoon Lord, upang kami ay equip Panginoon Lord, ng lahat ng uh, kailangan namin upang maibalik sa iyo ang glory. Panginoon Lord, ay uh, we believe magmamanifest ang lahat ng ito. So you said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but your bride will manifest. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Part of the great 